A couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the stunning new album from Devon Townsend, Empath. This is disc two. Amazon actually got off their ass and shipped the album that I actually pre-ordered months before it came out and didn't turn up till a week after it was released. Amazon pre-order finally turned up. Finally! I mean, to be fair, I've, I've taken a while to do this review anyway, but Amazon. Hello, hello, hello. So here I am, finally back, a little later than anticipated for my review of Disc 2 of Empath. Got the uh, two-disc deluxe edition. And before I go any further, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you like, like. Trust me, it helps the videos out immensely. Let's get the uh, likes on this video up, 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 up. Like now. Please like the video. I need it. I need it. This is disc two of the Empath album. If you haven't already checked out my review for that, check that out. And the name of this disc is tentatively titled Tests of Manhood. Now, these are all labelled as demos, but I seem to remember reading somewhere that uh, these are 92% produced. And I think that they were actually uh, recorded and produced with the intention of being a continuation of the album. I don't think they, you know, anyone who has been following Mr Townsend for a long time will know that he puts a lot of effort into everything he does. And he's never lacking material. Demos they may be, but this sounds like an album proper. Not sure if I just made any of that up. My brain is quite often a strange place to frequent. Without further a fudge, the review. Starting off the album we have The Contrarian. After a brief intro including ambient and sparkly instrumentation, not to mention some slidey bass work similar to some of the b-side stuff that he did on Casualties of Cool, the song erupts into a glorious chorus. Every day the fear is falling away from me, and for today the sun shines on the city. The song goes off on a few tangents, which for the most part work very well, but there was a particular section, a blast beat section, that uh, for my ears it didn't really fit so well, certainly not, um, certainly wasn't up to the calibre of some of the stuff on the main album. Obviously this is an album of B-sides, and I can understand why it didn't make the main album, but an enjoyable song nonetheless. Next up we have King. Very enthusiastic there, Ben. More symphonic moments on this one, and this one includes Annika von Giersbergen. I found on this song there were very strong elements of Z2, as well as uh, one of his first demo CDs, Ass Sorted Demos. <laughs> and there were parts of this that reminded me of a particular song on that album called Ocean Machines, which was a demo, highly worth checking out. It has to be said that much like the main album, the orchestration on this, which he's obviously demonstrated on prior releases, is pushed way further than he's ever done before. And if anything else, it's left me really wanting to hear The Moth. I'm not sure when that's uh, coming out. I know he's been working on it for a long time. His epic orchestra, and uh, I really cannot wait to hear what he does with that. But as for this song, very good. Very good. Next up, The Walking Kind. I'm the walking kind. Look, I'm walking kind of. I am. Well, not kind of, I am. This song takes a much more laid back approach, but one with plenty of progressive elements and arpeggios are plenty. One simply must have those arpeggios. I have to say on this one that I couldn't really place an error of Townsend that this one reminds me of. It's unmistakably Townsend, without a shadow of a doubt. It's definitely got that hint of 80s and a huge production style all over it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It kind of felt like there was something a bit new on this one. Having said that, it was a decent enough song, but nothing that particularly grabbed me either. Next up, we have Empath. The album's called Empath. Well done. Another one with a far more tranquil tone, and this one could have easily found itself on Ghost, albeit one with a reflective yet appreciative tone. Lazy Sunday, family time, mum is cooking, watch the rain from inside. A song to simply lay back and get lost in. Next up, Methuselah. No doubt named after the biblical figure of the same name, who supposedly died at the ripe old age of 969 years old. Education. This one had a dancey vibe to it, and it had elements of key and ghost as well as some of the ambient work that he did on DevLab and the Hummer. Throw in an incredibly 80s guitar solo and you have this song. This song, yes, this song. Next up we have This Is Your Life. 
has to be said that this one strongly reminded me of John Lennon's Happy Christmas, War Is Over. Clearly it's not. Devon has never hidden his influences. He's always worn them on his sleeve, regardless of song or album that he's done, but he's never ever failed to make them his own. And that's exactly what he does in this case. Seasons change all the way home, but let the morning light your day. Cause this is your life. Or is it our life? I think it's our life, he says that. Heartwarming stuff. I actually really enjoyed this one. Next up, we have Gulag. There were a lot of elements on this song that I felt would have fit very well on either Terrier or Sincestra, if they had a heavy emphasis on double bass kick drum work. And there were also a few parts of this that reminded me of some of his work on Physicist. Physicist. And much like a lot of the lyrics on Empath, this one deals with going into middle age with positivity and being brave, facing demons head on. You and I can learn together. Do the things which once we were afraid. A very enjoyable song, this one. Next up, we have Middle Aged Man. This one had a lot of similarities to his work on Punky Brewster, Cooked on Phonics, and uh, again, another one with elements of physicist, physicist. Wasn't funny the first time. Now, this is a fun song that I'm sure is not to be taken too seriously, and I particularly loved the bridge section. I don't want to make a fuss, but I'm the old man on the bus. And the way you kids been carrying on, get the hell off of my lawn. What's not to like? I love this song. There were some great heavy riffs in this one as well. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Next up, we have Total Collapse. And this one reminded me very strongly of Spirituality from the Classic City album. Albeit with more luscious ambient moments thrown in. This was one of the few songs on the album that I could have actually seen working well on the Empath album itself. This was a really great song. Unlike Spirituality, which was very dark song. This one has elements of light. A bit of colour, a bit of variety, a bit of shade. What am I going on about? I've gone into improvisational territory. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. Stick to the script! And then finally we have summer. How apt. It really is a glorious day today, it has to be said. Now after the shit weather of an England Hampshire winter, we must have summer. In this case, spring. But uh, oh God, that didn't work. Another tranquil song that could have quite easily ended up on Ghost. And Devon is quick to inform us. If you're counting waves, you're counting down. Whatever the fudge that means. There was a particular section in this with orchestration that actually reminded me a bit of um, some of Oasis, uh, particularly from their B-Sides album, The Master Plan, which I happen to love as well, so it's not a bad thing. And this song was a highly enjoyable and peaceful end to this wonderful supplementary disc. Sounds like a shitty bag. In terms of a score, I'd probably, I'm a bit torn between a seven and an eight out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. Some people might be fuming about that. A highly enjoyable collection of songs that while understandably left off of the main album, still makes for a cohesive listen and a must for any Devon Townsend fan. Any long-term listeners of Mr. Townsend will absolutely love this stuff. And to be honest, anybody who's new to his material might find this actually a bit more of an accessible way into his, uh, into his music than the actual main album. As I said at the beginning, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you like, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you leave a comment as well. It's always good for boosting the video's visibility. Plenty to come. So uh, you don't need to hear me going on anymore.